I am getting ready to make a tractor for like chickens or rabbits. It should work for either one. And the materials I'm going to use are one by twos, some scrap pieces of two by four I have laying around. And I've got hardware cloth and I also have some like garden fence. Uh, this is particularly going to be for a bunch of rabbits that I just got in around 30 rabbits I'm going to build it eight foot by eight foot Which is why I'm using a one by twos to make it lighter the corners are going to be reinforced with two by fours I'm going to have four sides that are eight feet long So eight feet by eight feet by eight feet by eight feet four times eight is 32. I need 32 foot length of fence Um they, oh, I know what it was. They only had this one roll, and I knew I had some scrap. That's what it was. So I was okay with getting 25 foot. For the roof, I'm actually going to use this. If I would have used this on the side, very small rabbits can get out of it. So I'm going to use it for the roof. The floor, I'm not actually going to use anything. And I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, that's not going to work, and they're going to dig out. Well... They can't really dig very well in Kentucky's hard clay soil, so um, they've actually been under a tarp in two large dog cages for three days now, and they've not dug out once, so um, for like their privacy area, I'm going to take a tarp just like that. That's going to give them some shade and some privacy on one end of it. The other end will be open. The end that's open will have... The larger opening fence and even though the fence is 36 inches tall I originally intended to make it 36 inches tall however when I was looking at my scrap lumber to find eight pieces the shortest one is 30 inches so it's only gonna be 30 inches tall that's fine not a big deal I've laid two pieces out here. I measured them because if you know anything about buying lumber, lumber is never what you buy. These are one by twos, eight feet long. They're actually one by twos, eight feet and a quarter inch long. They leave a little bit extra due to shrinkage and that sort of thing. You're supposed to cut it off, but all I want to do is make sure they're all consistently eight feet and a quarter inch. I'm not going to square the sides up. I'm basically going to make four panels that are all going to be the same. And uh, I'm going to use a combination of staples and nails and screws. I've got field staples, regular like homeowner type staples, staple gun, wire cutter, circular saw, and a hammer, and a measuring tape. That's pretty much what I'm going to use to build this with. That's about the tools you're going to need. And uh, we're going to make this pretty simple. I'm basically making sure that all of my end pieces are the same length. And I know that I'm not using a tape measure. It's very obvious. I'm just lining it up and eyeballing it. You know, the animals are not going to care if this structure is square or quarter inch off on one end or any of that stuff. So... I don't know why people always feel the need to say stuff like they comment on videos like I don't care if you're a housing inspector or not I didn't pay you for your observation and uh, you know the other thing is too I've done 300 and some videos for free hundreds of hundreds and thousands of hours of my time to hope that something I do inspires somebody else to do something their self because a lot of people these days don't do things their self. So, if you're a housing inspector or an electrical engineer, I really don't care. The animals don't care. This isn't human occupied structure, okay? <laughs> I just can't believe people just always got to be complaining about something. <laughs> The one thing I can say, you probably really should make sure that you're not using pressure treated lumber if this is going to be for rabbits because rabbits will eat the wood. And uh, again, 
I know that there's two pieces out of these eight that are actually pressure treated, but you know what? That's what I had on hand, and I'm going to make it work. And if the rabbits eat it and die and get sick, well, that's their own fault. I'm sure that the uh, people are going to get butt hurt over a lot of the things I say. Because really, you don't pay my bills. I do these videos for free. I don't live with you. I ain't got to make you happy. All I got to make happy is me and my animals. And you know what? They don't care. Everybody just always feels like they got to comment and have a opinion. Well, opinions are fine. But you know what? You can build this the way I am or you can build it the way that you want to. I'm not going to go and tell you you did it wrong. So the next thing I'm going to do so you get an idea, I'm going to build four panels just like this. Might even leave that end up there just like that so somebody will comment on it. Who knows? But you kind of get the idea. I'll put four panels like this. Then I'll screw the four panels together. Then I'll put wire over the outside of them. Easy peasy. Just going to use inch and a half galvanized roofing nails. I know this isn't a roof. I'm sure someone's going to comment on it. One panel done. Show you what I did. Split that end out. Don't care. I don't know if you realize this or not, but the lumber you buy isn't square. How are you expected to build something square out of lumber that's not square? All bowed and wavy. Anyways, one panel done. I'm going to make four more of these, then screw the panels together. I'll bring you right back after I get ready to do that. All four panels are done in about 15 minutes. Now, there's something you could do. If you notice, I got several 1x2s left over. You've got this place right here. Let me point to it. From here to here. You could run another 1x2. I'm not going to worry about it because, you know, I like to do things to give people something to complain about. So, I'm not going to do it. I don't care one and a half inch roofing nails used on one by two lumber that means that only about mm, three quarters of an inch in the nail is in the one two by four that's fine too because you know what the whole outside of this is going to be wrapped in metal fencing all the way around it i just i honestly just don't get people just always want to complain but that's the way it is you know, I've been building stuff my whole entire life. I've built many things. It's probably 
lasted longer than many of you are in age so I guarantee you stuff I build lasts a long time this is just a cheap and easy way to do a chicken or rabbit tractor so this is the basic concept I'm gonna start screwing this together I've got all the panels stood up oriented in the way they're supposed to be and uh, I'll let you watch me do that All right, getting ready to put this fence on here and basically I'm just gonna use half inch staples initially uh, to secure it in place a few places along the way and then I'll come back and do something a little bit better. Now one thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure that these corners are tight. I want you to look at how straight this is down through there for something that's not square. And I'm just going to do the same thing all the way around. Next, I gotta find something to finish that end with. Okay, folks, I forgot to record it, but for the end that didn't have any fence, I had a whole roll of chicken wire and I used it, same thing. And uh, what I'm doing now is getting ready to start going around. I've already somewhat started on this one down here. I'm putting a second piece of 1x2 along the bottom and the top all the way around and screwing those together with inch and I believe that's a quarter might be an inch and a half I don't remember uh, screws and that will lock all of this in place so that the staples can't come out and it can't basically pull out 
and I'll do that all the way around. So two, four, six, eight more pieces of one by two that I'll need to finish this up. Okay, for this next part, I have the chicken wire draped across the top. I have it stapled across this end, and I have it stapled along this edge right here at the very top. And then I just have the roll kind of down through there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and secure that other side because I'm going to need to stretch this fence to make it tight. This back half right here, I haven't decided if I'm going to do another row across there or if I'm just going to use a tarp yet, but got to have a way to get on the inside and I kind of like that spacing right there. It'd be easy for a person to get inside if they needed to, so I may just cover that with a tarp. There's 20 some, 26 or 7 rabbits in there right now. I still got the tarp to put up on this end here where the opening's at. They absolutely love it in there. Because this is probably the most they've ever been able to run and jump and play since they were born. Should be on the other side. So I've still got to get the tarp on there and I just got them some water. I need to get them some food. I know they got all that um, cl clover in there. They're going to be fine for a long time, at least tonight. So the goal is to just move this around like a ch chicken tractor every day or so, however long it takes them to clean the grass down. And uh, they're basically going to be my weed eaters and that'll cut down on my feed also.